so so the plan for today is uh, pike on traps crappie and perch on the jig rod I'm on that same lake I fished in my last pike video but I'm gonna do something a little different they didn't seem to be in where I was last time so I'm gonna try that same general area but try coming out a little deeper and I'm gonna spread my traps out a little more than I did last time just to cover a little more area and uh, that'll also let me you know increase my jigging uh, range a little bit so I think we'll start here I'm gonna pop a few holes and uh, hopefully find some fish Ah, crappy, a little crappy. Not bad, take him. Oh, first pike flag. Nice 12 incher. Actually got two flags up. Got one there, and I got one uh, two over. So, hoping there's a pike on them. I've got, uh, I had two bait flags first thing this morning when I was dropping my traps in. And it's been probably 40, 40 to 45 minutes and haven't got a flag since, so fingers crossed that there's a fish on these. Alright, right, line's tight, straight down. I'm just going to see what we look and feel like. Oh yeah, it's going. There's a fish on there. Yeah, it's spinning. Yep, fish on. Fish on, first of the day. Hard to tell, it's, uh, it's kind of coming right at me. I don't know what size fish we're looking at. Eh, he may have some weight to him. I don't think it's a giant, but definitely feels like he's got some weight. Yep, decent. Decent. There we go. First of the day. Not a bad one. Not a bad one to start the day. Nice chunky one. That one's probably pushing eight or so, plus or minus. I actually uh, have two of the flags, so we're gonna go grab them. All right, thank you, buddy. Yeah, fish on. Another decent one. Quite a bit smaller. Of course they close their mouth. They always close their mouth. All right, buddy. Let's make this quick and painless. Of course he's way back there. There we go, nice and easy. Come on, buddy. Wrong way. All right, just gonna leave this trap out. I'm gonna go check this other one. Bait stealer. Somehow got the bait, so I had to go grab some uh, fresh bait. Yeah, fish on it. Got it. Fish on, it's coming right towards me. Small one. Just a little one. Probably that same one I just uh, missed would be my guess. So this shiner is uh, pretty well toast. I'm going to cut that up and use it for jigging bait. So I just walked 75 yards away from this flag. I was jigging literally 20 feet from this flag. I walked 75 yards, started jigging in another hole, and uh, of course the flag goes up. Because it went up two minutes ago and I was literally standing right next to it. You know. I'm going to swap over to the chest mount. Because that reel's moving pretty good. And, uh, this tripod's gonna blow over, so. I'm gonna set my tripod down, and we're gonna run this all, uh, all chest mount. And we got, we got some travel here, so there's a fish on. Yep, fish on, got him. Got him. Uh, decent, sturdy. All right, should be able to get this fish. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. I'm not going to kick my tripod on because it, uh, it's so windy, but 
that's probably a 26, 27, maybe 28. Nice pike though. It's my last live shiner of the day. Outside of what's on my trap. So this shiner got hit, I don't know, three or four times. I don't know if you can see all the teeth marks in him. He's uh, He's got about 10% left. He's still flopping around a little bit. So I'm gonna, uh, I'll keep him in the, uh, the tank here for a while in case I need him, but, but he's pretty well done. I just walked about 150 yards. Just as I look back, that same flag goes up again. I don't think, I don't think it's a bait flag. That bait was pretty beat up. There was a fish that hit that one. So, back we go. There better be something on this side. Yeah, it's my own fault, you know, for walking that far off jigging that. So definitely not a bait flag. That bait is uh, chewed up pretty good. So I'm gonna hang here for a minute. I'm gonna eat a little bit. So I don't wanna walk another 150 yards and have a flag go up again. So I'm gonna hang here for a few minutes and see if that flag goes up. Oh, I dropped it. They just sit down there with it and you go to set the hook and they just have it T-boned. Dang it. Well, that's the last shiner I have. Oh, flag way down. That's the last, uh, I don't have any other bait, even dead bait. Two for two, it's the same exact thing. Just sitting down there with a T-bone. Went to set the hook on it and just felt the hook pop right out of the shiner. So two for two on the T-bone. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up there. It's about 12.30. The uh, flags have slowed down substantially. I only have uh, two shiners left, which are uh, pretty well dead. And the uh, jigging has slowed down substantially as well. So I think we're just gonna pack it up here. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll see you on the next one.